Here's my latest acquisition. Four um, relatively uncommon cycads. Two different species. The one on the right here, I'll show you this, it's Cycas titonguensis, which is known as, I think, the Emperor Sago. It's from Taiwan. It's the only place you can find it. I haven't opened them up yet. I'm sure they have little codexes, but very similar in appearance to Cycas revoluta, the King Sago, kind of the one you see most often. It does appear that this one, titonguensis, you'll read kind of conflicting information as to hardiness, but uh, looks like it's zone 8 hardy. Uh, I've seen some that said 9, some that said 7, but uh, pretty sure it's hardy to 8B. Um, mine is a tricky 8B because over wet winters, this grows uh, at elevation, I think between one and 3,000 feet. Um, in a small area, I believe it might even be, uh, you know, threatened or endangered species, but this, these were propagated, you know, um, in country. And they do have some spikes on them but uh, they grow on rocky hillsides, so they need some well-draining soil. They can take quite a bit of sun. So I have, uh, in my front yard, I had got two spots where it's pretty sandy and sunny, so that's where these are going, kind of that area that I just removed a bunch of big cystus. I think I got room for two of these. I think my main issue is gonna be the rabbits, how to protect them, so I gotta think about that. And then over here, with the more, um, you kind of put them together, the, I guess you would say more, the, the leaves or the leaflets are more um, widely spaced and they're much longer, softer. Ooh, it has some wicked spikes on it. And this is Cycus revoluta um, crossed with Cycus, and I'm gonna butcher it, Guazuensis. And so Revoluta um, are the most common ones. They come from Japan and they are generally hardy into zone eight. Wet zone eight is tricky. They are tricky around here. And Gu Guanzuensis, uh, it's about the same. It seems like it's a, a zone eight one as well, but definitely longer, you know, much, much longer leaflets, far more evenly spaced as hybrid ones. So we shall see the hybrid one. I think that they do grow fast. I think they have a little bit of hybrid vigor going on. Titonguensis is supposed to be, I think it's supposed to be relatively quick. So they put out a flush, you know, minimum. Well, sometimes they can skip a year, but usually at least once a year, maybe more. Kind of depends on your climate. I have uh, petulantis and that only flushes once, but the rabbits are always chewing on it. it drives me crazy. <sighs> so anyway, Titonguensis, uh, probably planting that this afternoon. If this, because uh, the surprise rain we're getting is supposed to stop uh, anytime now. So I'm probably gonna put the Titonguensis out this afternoon. The Revoluta slash, uh, slash uh, Guantuensis and I might put them in pots, but I think they have a pretty long root system. So I haven't quite opened them up to look at their codex yet, which is kind of like a, it's almost like a large kind of bulb sort of structure that they grow out of. So very interesting. And I got these from Scott, um, Scott W. He's on the Palm Talk forum. You can message him directly. Or he does have a website, Gator Ventures, and he also sells on eBay. So I will, very, and very reasonable prices too, by the way, for these. Um, Psychads are not that cheap. You know, when you go outside Revoluta, they're pretty expensive and hard to find. There's actually not a whole lot of information on these, on these plants. So I will leave a link um, to his, if I can, if YouTube doesn't get rid of it, but I'll, I'll write down the name of his. Um, business and if you're interested in just some hybrid cycads I think he still has some available um, I think he, he does carry a few different types but um, he's been selling so I'm not sure what he has left thanks for watching